Statists cannot conceive of an alternate reality, one that abhors the idea of government, not because they are born mentally incapacitated, but because mental incapacitation is inflicted upon them. At the tender age of five, their parents are required to enroll them into the local kindergarten, where subsequently they spend the next 13 years of their life being told what to think and what to believe, but never how to think critically. They're taught how free they are, how wonderful their constitution is, and how lucky they are to be an American. They're told romanticized stories about how glorious the Founding Fathers were, how brilliant their ideas, and how if only they could live up to those ideals, how wonderful their world would be. This of course is a lie, but it's very easy to swindle youngsters and when the parents are required by law to send their offspring to these institutions, then why not take full advantage of the innocence of the youth? The tales of history are manipulated in ways to mold their supple minds into a pre-crafted paradigm, unseen and unknown by the masses. Requiring the children recite daily a pledge, written by a Christian socialist minister in 1892, dedicating their lives to the state, never once having anyone explain to them what that entails. Teaching the young that the system is broken, but that it can be fixed from within, if only you're able and willing to work hard enough. This too is a deceit. The system is not broken, it is doing precisely what it was designed to do millennia ago. It's a well-oiled machine, crafted to enslave the majority, all while enriching a minority. It's a finely honed criminal syndicate, capable of duping the masses into thinking that it is legitimate and good. It's infiltrated itself into all walks of life, keeping the masses in check because the masses have been trained to keep each other in check. Those who have been most indoctrinated by this authority known as government eagerly do their best to recover any chattel who has the cognitive audacity to stray from the herd. While I must admit this type of central planning is indeed brilliant, it's also self-defeating. The system cannot continue down a perpetual path of entitlement without eventually running out of funds. Despite all of the indoctrination and brainwashing, the fact remains, statism always fails.